And we're gonna start getting more trophies by heading on to the rally mode. Because I'm, I'm, I'm organizing this by difficulty. So let's go to the rally mode for the first time. We have a few different uh, modes here. We have single rally, single stage, time trial, challenge, which I'll be doing later, and the championship mode. So let's start a new game. Again, expert is locked right now, but we do have novice and intermediate. We're going to do the novice championship. Hmm. We can also have up to four players. I'm assuming it's like the WRC series where you can have like up to four players with one controller, I think, maybe? I don't know. But uh, of course, I'm only going to do one player. And let's see. So I drove the Peugeot. Now I think I'm going to go with the Seat for the championship, for the rally championship. So I want to drive the Seat. Let's drive the Seat. Hey, Tuner Guy. How's it going? Welcome, Finland. Alright. Wide well, gravel and mud tracks makes this rally one of the fastest in the world. The jumps and long blind corners also make it one of the most hair raising drives for any rally driver, and also one of the most exciting to watch. That, that was the voice of Ned Jarrett. So, for you PAL folk. <clears throat> who live in Europe and played the PAL version of this game, uh, you actually got someone who probably, uh, I don't know, was it Colin who did the introduction or some, something? I don't know. Somebody who probably actually knows what rallying is. Uh, no, for North American release, they got Ned fucking Jarrett to do the narration. <laughs> you know, NASCAR. Ned Jarrett. Father of Dale Jarrett. You know. That. Sure, why not? So, here we go. Here is the um, let's layout of stuff for the rallies. So, we have our information here. Uh, quite a lot of information, actually. So, for our first rally, the rally Finland, we have four stages. We're going to be doing two of those on our first day here. So, we have uh, Michele and Cupio. Gonna, Kelly's taking place at 6 in the morning, 5 kilometers in length, is 80% gravel, 20% mud. And then Cupio, gonna be taking place at noon, with uh, 4.9 kilometers in length, 70% gravel, 30% mud, and uh, also the temperature is gonna skyrocket from 5C to 17C. That's a nice tuner guy. Kim Block wasn't even relevant in 2000, I don't think. So, there's that. And then a little bit about the rally, I suppose, at the bottom here. Wide gravel and mud tracks make this rally one of the fastest in the world, proper noun. The jumps and cresting along corners also make it one of the most hair-raising drives for any rally driver, and also one of the most exciting to watch. Now imagine that in Ned Jarrett's voice. Ugh. <laughs> so silly. Also, here's the uh, weather forecast for the stage, as well as the map of the stage. So, twisty. Going to be cloudy but dry conditions throughout both stages. I, I, I like that. That's cool. Anyways, here's where we can change our car setup, as well as uh, do any repairs that we have to do. 300 brake horsepower for the Seat Cordoba. And yeah, I'm not doing anything with um, setup because I don't know what to do with setup, so fuck it. Here's where we actually make repairs. Okay, so this is setup change. This is where we repair the car. As a damage percentage scale. Pure relevant to them. Yes. Save our progress, we can quit, or we can just go to the stage, which is what we're gonna do. Hi, Harry. So, let's go to stage one at Finland. Yay. Three, two, one, go. So, I think... I'm pretty sure... 
Here, I'll just let you listen to the uh, co-driver for a moment here. And then I'll talk about it. As I... I drive. So yeah, um, in the PAL version of the game, you know, the the version that was pretty much, it's pretty much the main version of the game, because, you know, Codemasters is a British studio and shit. Um, I believe Colin's actual, Colin McRae's actual co-driver, Nikki Griss, does the pace notes. Um, in the North American version, they decided to go with America McGenerica. Why? I don't know. Is there an option to change it? Probably not. Actually, let's check our options here. Uh, answer is no. It's the same exact options as in the options menu. Main options menu. Plenty of gigs of updates. Hope we weren't planning on playing anything on the Xbox for a while. Yay, I'm winning this stage by 13 seconds over McRae. Goal. What's that? Also, if you haven't noticed, the pace notes are on a uh, decreasing scale. So, my preferred scale, so where a 5 is a slight bend and a 1 is very tight. I prefer it that way because it's like it's like kind of like uh, not only telling me how tight a corner is, but also is a bit of a almost a suggested gear as well. So it's like oh three right, that's kind of about a third gear corner. Okay, that, that's why I kind of prefer it this way. Okay, so let's check one more thing. Aha, there is an interior view in rally mode. Look at this shit. This is nice, actually. We. This is a really nice interior view for fucking PS1. Anyways, we're not gonna be using that though. Don't y'all see the car? I should vacuum seal. Yeah, and there's our first stage complete and dominated. <laughs> oh yeah, it kind of does sound like text to speech actually. Same Supra, because then maybe uh, on, I wish WC One Evolutions WC One sold better. So then maybe Sony would have actually fucking published the other games over here instead of just in PAL territories. Because fuckers. <clears throat> Anyways, that was a decent replay. And here's a sector-by-sector sector breakdown of the stage, so... You can see my sector times and total time versus the record time, which was... which is all generic because... they didn't actually have any records... like, default records set, so they just, like, fuck it, one minute per sector. Hello, Josh. Welcome to the stream. I have set the fastest time for this stage, yay! And also kicked their asses, so... Stage win for me, unsurprising since I'm playing on Novice. Colin McRae in second in his flawed. And we have Dugas. I don't know how... Wh how many of these drivers' names are actually real. I don't know anything about the 2000 WRC roster, so, uh, yeah. You know. <clears throat> we have Dugas in third in his Peugeot. Uh, Aikita. I think it's... I think it's I think that's an I and not an L. Aikita in fourth and a Lancer. Erickson in fifth. Baca in sixth. Aha. Uh -huh. Baca. Funny. We have Ingold Tizot. These fucking names can't be real. T Tizot. Tizzo. I'm gonna say Tizzo. Huber. Candido. Truman. Johnson or Johnson. Depending on how much flavor you want to add to it. Jones. Is that Emery? <laughs> Emily Jones in the Corolla, uh, Cooper, Castus, and Ultzman bringing up the rear again. Yeah, unlike McRae, that name's not real. It's probably not actually Erickson. I think Colin McRae is the only like real driver name in this. 
There we go, 16 competitors. And then <clears throat> have this line here cutoffs. I guess that's a point cutoff, I guess? Oh, like why are we fading away? Just resetting the replay. Of course, everyone's standings are the same because that was the first stage, so blah, blah, blah. Let's uh, move on to stage two here at Finland. The text in this game is really weird. It looks like they took, like, all the text shit. Like the text... <laughs> the jiggly antenna. I just noticed it. Good old jiggly antenna. Even the PS1 had the jiggly antenna. But, um... It looks like they took, like, the text graphics from, like, the PC version of this game. Because there is a PC version, of course. And just downscaled the fuck out of it. <laughs> for the PS1 resolution. Because it looks very not good. Now the in-stage graphics, that, that looks fine. Like, the HUD here looks nice. But, like, the menu text looks really blurry and just not good. Not, not clear. Not really a fan. Ryan Cooper not doing all his WFC career. That's why he turned to the Pro Street Life. This way. I'm so not used to having eight sectors in the stage because I played so much WRC. I'm used to having five sectors. But it's like, why are there so many sector splits in such quick succession? Oh god. I have hurt the car. I have damaged the car. Right, we're slightly bent. Mud. Right. From what I remember of CMR1, um, there was that little section. It looks like there's a little bit more openness to like the actual stage map design, but it still kind of looks like an enclosed. Most of, the, for the most part, looks like an enclosed path because of all the uh, trees. Like it's just a wall of trees. And if, I don't know if I talked about this in my WRC LPs, but like. Although there are branching roads, which are cool, which are blocked off. That that makes this look feel a little more like an actual, like, world with a road and shit that we're driving on, and not just, like, a path specifically carved out and generated for us within this fucking forest wall. And there we go. <laughs> I like how his... Note for the end of stage is just okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, the tree wall uh, frees up, you know, makes them makes it so they don't have to render as much world on screen. They don't have to worry about like draw distance and shit, so it's fine. <clears throat> I do like the touch where they actually have branching roads. Uh every now and then. So anyways, there we go. Dominate stage two. That's supposed to be right next to you. So now he's talking about $5 walkie-talkie. Uh, because, I don't know, radio technology? Fucking, I don't know. Anyways, do guys finish second in that stage. McCray third. Here's the rest of the standings. Gotta show it all because I'm weird like that and I have to see, show all the standings same Supra. It's always cool to see what creative ways a company might have used to uh, get around technical limitations. Not even PlayStation sound quality, Harry. It's not even the problem. PlayStation has good sound quality because CDs. Anyways, I'm leading the rally by a minute 10 seconds <laughs> over McCray. Hooray. We've done two stages. There, then again, there's only four stages, but still. In the novice rally. But there we go. Now we completed stage two. We finished our first day of rallying, and we get our next service area in previous stages three and four. Stage three is really short, only two kilometers in length. Good God. And stage four is 5Ks. Temperature about the same. Drops one degree between stages three and four. 
or weather forecast. Here's the map. This looks pretty straightforward. We're going to go slightly overcast to sunny skies to overcast. Cool and good. Not messing with the setup. We have some damage to repair though, so not much. Just a little bit of suspension damage, a little bit of differential damage. It's going to take 12 minutes. Jesus. I have an hour to do all this shit. The body is least important. And I have money I have time to repair the body, so cool. Had time to uh repair the entire car. Like there's a little bit of information on the bottom about what damage will do to the car. I like this uh as well as the 3D model of the car just kinda flippity doobity doo around. <laughs> Each part. All right, let's continue. There's some games that do that, Supra. Um, they actually have a real-time timer, so it's like you can't just sit and think about your decisions. You actually you need to, you know, Three, do your stuff. Two, one, I kind of, while while that is more realistic, I kind of prefer just, you know, it, the way this game tackles it. Just having this time and then. Whatever you do takes away that much time from the timer. Although both systems are cool. I just prefer not having the timer countdown in real time. Because I'm a baby. This stage is going to take no time. Fucking two kilometers. It's not even a super special. I saw those arrows and I'm like, oh boy, sharp turn incoming. Uh, while that was true, that's not the where I'm going. The where I'm going. Words are hard. Sub one minute stage? Oh shit. Maybe if I don't suck. Like the scraping sound. Aww. Barely missed the sub one minute stage. Damn it. <clears throat> yeah, pretty much, Supra. Pretty much. Those sector times six seconds, seven seconds, six, seven, seven. Uh, that's what happens when you have eight sector splits on a fucking 2k stage. God, that was short. What does LMS stand for? Well, if you type exclamation LMS in the chat, you can go to the LMS YouTube channel and uh, you'll know what it stands for. Or you could just look at the URL, that works too. <laughs> So, I won that two kilometer stage by 14 seconds, by the way. McCray over Ericsson over Aikita over Dugas. Top five. <clears throat> Legit. It's eight minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my god. It's eight minutes for every stage, fiends. They just set it to where it's like just the default record is one minute per sector. They didn't actually set, like, set any records. Like, any default records. They're just like, pff, whatever. Oh. Here's the standings with one stage to go. Airboy Utsman isn't last. Sucked ass in the novice, uh, rally- Uh, I was gonna say rallycross. Novice arcade championship. He's second to last here in the first rally. Goal. One, go. Now goal. Funnier with the stage. Yeah. Right. My favorite are the games right. that were like the default right. records is just the maximum timer that they ha have on the in-game timer. <clears throat> so it's like, uh, how long? <laughs> what's the record on this uh, default record on this like two-mile uh, circuit? Uh, 59 minutes, 59 seconds. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's funny. I'm having a hard time hearing the pace. I'm kind of driving by sight here in the visual pace notes here, because I can't actually hear the pace notes because I'm talking over them, which is like the worst part of trying to stream slash like let's play or anything a rally game. Because the pace notes are a very integral part of rallying. You, you gotta kind of need them to know where the fuck you're going, but... Hard to hear when you're talking over them, constantly. 
I have to say. <clears throat> oh, shit. I have crashed. Into trees. Oopsie. I broke did the cur. I made an oopsie whoopsie. Oh, shit. About to make a bigger oopsie whoopsie. Oh, this way. Alright, I'm not paying attention to the road. At all. That's a tree, now you know. Oh god. Jump maybe. Thank you, Chevron Science, for pointing me in the direction, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> So soulless. I am not a robot. Beep boop. Three left. Boop. They sure did put no effort in the co driver. Here, read the pace notes. Alright. <laughs> okay. I still love that. New evidence. I didn't even know there was a new evidence that's single. I don't even know Evanescence still made music. Alright, so... Hooray! Did it. Set another high score. I won the stage again by a lot. There's the standings of the fourth and final stage here at Finland. Apparently this rally is taking place over in a whole day, not two, like I thought. I'm stupid. <clears throat> the three seconds. So here are the final results. I ween by two minutes over McCray. Dugas in third, Erickson in fourth, Baca fifth, and Aikita takes sixth, and I'm assuming the final point because of that line. And then here are the rest of the results. There we go. Utsman finished 14th, so yay, not last. Crash into the tree, not last for him. Okay. Oh, this is different than I was expecting. I was expecting the whole 10, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1 points for a top 6. No, it's 12, 8, 6, 4, 2, 1. It's different. Not what I was expecting, but it's different. I take the early point lead. Then again, I'm gonna win this probably judging by how this first rally went yeah I won the gold trophy woo and then there's points again they're the same because this was the first rally so there we go let's continue and see if we get any sort of like celebration screen we don't we just get thrown straight into grease <laughs>